Welcome to Washington America's show from Dr. Kashif and the crew. Today we'll talk about robots. Robots have replaced humans in performing repetitive and dangerous tasks which humans prefer not to do, or are unable to do because of size limitations, or which take place in extreme environments such as outer space or the bottom of the sea. Robots save workers from performing dangerous tasks. They can work in hazardous conditions, such as poor lighting, toxic chemicals, or tight spaces. Robots increase worker safety by preventing accidents since humans are not performing risky jobs. Work cells provide safety features, separating the worker from harm's way. A robot is a machine, especially one programmable by a computer, capable of carrying out a complex series of actions automatically. Robots can be guided by an external control device or the control may be embedded within. Robots may be constructed on the lines of human form, but most robots are machines designed to perform a task with no regard to their aesthetics. Modern robots have finally grown smart enough and physically capable enough to make their way out of factories and labs to walk and roll and even leap among us. You may be worried a robot is going to steal your job, and we get that. This is capitalism, after all, and automation is inevitable. A robot is an intelligent, physically embodied machine that can perform tasks autonomously to some degree. A robot can sense and manipulate its environment. The components of a robot are the body or frame, control system, manipulators, and drivetrain. Robots are now being used in a customer service capacity in retail stores and hotels around the world. Most of these robots leverage AI natural language processing abilities to interact with customers in a more human way. Often, the more these systems can interact with humans, the more they learn. A robot is a machine designed to execute one or more tasks automatically with speed and precision. There are as many different types of robots as there are tasks for them to perform. Robots that resemble humans are known as androids, however, many robots aren't built on the human model. A robot is made up of four main things, the actuator, the sensors, the controller, and the power source. The simplest example would be a collision avoiding robot. A robot is a machine designed to execute one or more tasks automatically with speed and precision. There are as many different types of robots as there are tasks for them to perform. Robots that resemble humans are known as androids, however, many robots aren't built on the human model. Human-robot interaction is a field of robotics that studies the relationship between people and machines. By studying human-robot interaction, roboticists can shape a world in which people and machines get along without hurting each other. Humanoid is the classical sci-fi robot. This is perhaps the most challenging form of robot to engineer, on account of it being both technically difficult and energetically costly to walk and balance on two legs, but humanoids may hold promise in rescue operations, where they'd be able to better navigate an environment designed for humans. Actuator is typically, a combination of an electric motor and a gearbox. Actuators are what power most robots. Soft robotics is a field of robotics that forgoes traditional materials and motors in favor of generally softer materials and pumping air or oil to move its parts. LiDAR or light detection and ranging, is a system that blasts a robot's surroundings with lasers to build a 3D map. This is pivotal both for self-driving cars and for service robots that need to work with humans without running them down. Singularity is the hypothetical point where the machines grow so advanced that humans are forced into a societal and existential crisis. Multiplicity is the idea that robots won't supplant humans, but complement them. Think of a simple drone that you pilot around. That's no robot. But give a drone the power to take off and land on its own and sense objects and suddenly it's a lot more robot-ish. It's the intelligence and sensing and autonomy that's key. Today, advanced robots are popping up everywhere. For that you can thank three technologies in particular, sensors, actuators, and AI. LiDAR is often combined with something called machine vision, 2D or 3D cameras that allow the robot to build an even better picture of its world. You know how Facebook automatically recognizes your mug and tags you in pictures? Same principle with robots. Fancy algorithms allow them to pick out certain landmarks or objects. Sensors are what keep robots from smashing into things. New technologies promise to let robots sense the world in ways that are far beyond humans' capabilities. When the coronavirus crisis took hold in early 2020, a group of roboticists saw an opportunity. Robots are the perfect co-workers in a pandemic. Robot helpers could take patients' temperatures and deliver medicines, for instance. This would free up human doctors and nurses to do what they do best, problem-solving and being empathetic with patients, skills that robots may never be able to replicate. The rapidly developing relationship between humans and robots is so complex that it has spawned its own field, known as human-robot interaction. 
The overarching challenge is this, it's easy enough to adapt robots to get along with humans, make them soft and give them a sense of touch, but it's another issue entirely to train humans to get along with the machines. With Tug the Hospital Robot, for example, doctors and nurses learn to treat it like a grandparent, get the hell out of its way and help it get unstuck if you have to. We also have to manage our expectations, robots like Atlas may seem advanced, but they're far from the autonomous wonders you might think. What humanity has done is essentially invented a new species, and now we're maybe having a little buyer's remorse. Namely, what if the robots steal all our jobs? Not even white-collar workers are safe from hyper-intelligent AI, after all. A lot of smart people are thinking about the singularity, when the machines grow advanced enough to make humanity obsolete. That will result in a massive societal realignment and species-wide existential crisis. What will we do if we no longer have to work? How does income inequality look anything other than exponentially more dire as industries replace people with machines? You're more likely to work alongside a robot than be replaced by one. If your car has adaptive cruise control, you're already doing this, letting the robot handle the boring highway work while you take over for the complexity of city driving. The fact that the U.S. economy ground to a standstill during the coronavirus pandemic made it abundantly clear that robots are nowhere near ready to replace humans. One thing is abundantly clear, the robots have arrived. Now we have to figure out how to handle the responsibility of having invented a whole new species. If you think robots are the kind of thing you hear about in science fiction movies, think again. Right now, all over the world, robots are performing thousands of tasks. They are probing our solar system for signs of life, building cars at the motors plants, assembling cookies and much more. As they grow tougher, more mobile, and more intelligent, today's robots are doing more and more of the things that humans can't or don't want to do and in many cases taking away the need for human labor. The invention of transistors and integrated circuits in the 1950s and 60s, made the robotics possible. But with these great advantages there are always some disadvantages to weigh into the equation. After all, there is no such thing as a free lunch and robots are no exception to this rule. There are of course a few negative aspects to robot usage. Here are some of the questions that arise, are there such kinds of robots that should not be created? Will robots put capable workers out of jobs, if so is this a justifiable action? And of course the ignorant issue of, what if someday robots become like people, in terms of thinking and acting for themselves, how would we be able to distinguish robot from human? Hollywood blockbusters such as Terminator and Terminator 2 have fueled the idea of artificial intelligence taking on humanoid characteristics and taking over the world. It is not possible for a robot to think, feel, or act for itself, it may be programmed to mimic the actions, but not experience the real thing. We can program them to react to a certain stimulus, but a robot cannot and will never be able to comprehend, have feelings genuine guilt and much less act without the use of a programmer somewhere along the line. Today's society views robots as nothing but machines that help complete tasks. Advancing into the world are robots that are completing the jobs humans once did. Even though they are only seen as machines, they are crossing over into the human world. Now robots make us question the line between human and machine. Robots are seen as objects that have no biological aspects or emotions to make them human. In today's society, robots come in different types and qualities, and robots use was mainly in the laboratories and factories, However, that has drastically changed where their uses are changing at a high speed. In addition to that, they have spread throughout the world. The main function of robots is to replace the work that people used to do, or perform tasks that man cannot. A robot is a mechanical or a virtual device that uses a computer program, or electronic circuitry. The first known robot was created around 400 to 350 BC by the mathematician Archytas and was a steam-powered pigeon. Archytas constructed his bird out of wood and used steam to power the movement of the robot. This bird was then suspended from a pivot bar at one point the bird managed to fly as much as 200 meters before it ran out of steam. This is not only the first known robot. The development of the robot have started to have a significant impact on the individual worker. These workers come from many different areas of life, some including manufacturing, service, and jobs that do not require much education. For example, Manufacturing jobs have been impacted by the robot because the robot is able to perform manufacturing skills at an easier and faster rate than humans. Jobs that also do not require extensive education will be impacted because robots will be able to replace 
Technology has both a positive and negative impact on society, because it has many benefits such as communication and negative effects such as hacking. The technological advances in the military have changed the way people fight in wars. New military technologies are making wars easier to fight and so may take soldiers off the battlefield. Recently, many new military technologies have been created. Robots are one of the artificial intelligence that made a breakthrough across all fields of life. In consequence, many research studies and projects regarding robots took place in the last decade. In addition, robots in the society could be one of the essential machines, due to their multitask system which could adjust it to any kind of performance. In general society could use these machines to fill manpower gap in short time with less cost. Therefore, robots can have huge positive effects. In the future, robots will play a large role in the daily lives of those around the globe. Technology has both a positive and negative impact on society, because it has many benefits such as communication and negative effects such as hacking. The technological advances in the military have changed the way people fight in wars. New military technologies are making wars easier to fight and so may take soldiers off the battlefield. The advances in medical technology have revolutionized the way doctors treat diseases and injuries. Medical technology has had a great beneficial impact on society. Medical technology has made quality of life better for many people by providing them with adequate health care. Recently new beneficial technologies have been created to help treat diseases and help those with disabilities. Mobile slash autonomous robots navigate and perform their chores and duties without the intervention of human. They have been created to have high intelligence to deal with any environment such as on land, sky and even underwater. These robots are normally wheeled, or with wings, propeller and etc., depending on their uses. Aerial mobile robots are referred to unmanned aerial vehicles, WAVs, which have been used by countries with advanced technologies for military purposes. For underwater mobile robots, they are usually called autonomous underwater vehicles, OVs, and are used in sea exploration, military and commercial purposes. Androids, which can also be called as humanoid robots, are being built to mimic human. They will have basic structures of human including head, body, hands and legs. Some of them have been installed with devices to produce sound or talk like human. As we all know, humans' abilities are limited. Thus, we need something to fulfill our incompleteness and we have chosen the robots to do that for us. This can be clearly described when we use robots to carry and move heavy objects in our daily life. Landmine detector or, in the condition that risky jobs involve which may sacrifice the priceless life of human being, it will be wise to use robots as to replace the jobs for us to avoid any unnecessary sacrificing. Exploration for mines, space and underwater are example of highly dangerous tasks and these places are almost impossible for human to access. Sacrificing robots which can be valued in money is a much more intelligent act instead of sending the human's priceless souls to the path of death. In addition, assistance from robots arms for handling hazardous and acidic chemicals can also be widely used in laboratories to take the place of human's arms. Another main reason for the existence of robots is because of the demand of human to enjoy ease and comfort in their life. Everyone in this world is demanding to live in the best and easiest way in their life, without the need to do anything and waits to be served. In other words, the laziness of human beings caused the existence of robots. Example, there are robots being invented to clean and vacuum the house. Apparently, human in the world today are so lazy until they do not wish to do the household chores by themselves. Although this statement is not fair. But yet this is one of the very true facts. For workaholics, these robots are perfect in sharing responsibilities of household chores. For the basic layout of the generalized robots which are mostly correspond to animal, or even a human, are being made up with some important components. Just as human's brain, it is the main system that operates a robot. It is a microprocessor which functions like a computer. Specialized programs are installed so that they can move without the controls of human. The eyes are made up from camera, sensor, ranging sonar and etc. These are used for navigating the robot's movement, capture and recording the images of its surrounding, and estimate the range of its movement towards any objects or destination. There are also sensors that can help the robots to avoid from obstacles while moving. The ears have been invented with sound recognition features. So, these robots require ears. Basically, the ears of these robots are also made up from sensors to detect sound waves and they are to be sent to microprocessor for detailed analysis. Communication between robots and human are greatly important. Besides receiving commands and orders from their owner, it is also generally important for the robots to tell their owners when something goes wrong. 
These communication systems can be in form of sound alarms or lights to grab the attentions of their owners. In order to transmit the sound or light, they need components like data, video or sound transmitters. Muscles are the main component for the robots to move their limbs and carry out tasks. The limbs are commonly operated by electricity. In this case, the electricity functions as the muscles. However, some robots have been designed and created to do heavy duties like carrying heavy objects. Thus, electricity will be substituted with hydraulic technology or pneumatic technology. Limbs can be as usual as humans' hands and legs, fingers and toes. But in some situations, hands and legs are not that suitable to be used. Hence, the limbs of these robots are also available in wheels, tires, track rollers, propellers and etc. A sensor is a device, which is used to senses the objects in the surrounding. There are many kinds of applications for sensors which most people are never aware. Applications include cars, machines, aerospace, medicine, manufacturing and robotics. Sensors are the sensory system for robots, are much like humans' five senses, sight, touch, smell, hearing, and taste. The robot sensors sense the environmental like touch, distance, light, sound, strain, rotation, magnetism, smell, temperature, inclination, pressure, or altitude. Then it provides the data that must be processed to provide information to allow the robot to respond. Robots are equipped with sensors so they can have an understanding of their surrounding environment and make changes in their behavior. Rotation sensors are used to measure the angle of a robotic arm, or how far a mobile robot's wheel has turned. Global Positioning Systems, GPS, receive signals from orbiting satellites that pinpoint the location of an outdoor robot on the Earth. Laser range finders use laser beams to measure the distance to objects. They are used for obstacle detection and navigation. Computer vision is the field of study of interpreting camera images for a variety of purposes. Cameras are very common sensors, it can be say as the eyes of robot. Light sensor is used as the eyes of the robot, it helps in navigating, detect bright object, tell the difference between colored objects. The when we talk about robots performing tasks of human, we talk about future. But the use of robots in surgery is already a reality. The developments of technologies have brought various robotic devices into the medical field and these advanced robotic devices have been performing as a great assistant in a surgery room for today. With these robotic systems, the operation has become much less invasive but however, due to some disadvantages of these systems, surgeons are still cannot being replaced. Minimally invasive surgery is a broad concept including many common procedures that existed prior to the introduction of robots such as gallbladder excisions. It refers to procedures that avoid long cuts by entering the body through a small entry. However, surgeons can perform this procedure by using long-handled surgery equipments and the guidance of viewing equipment such as endoscope, therefore it is not necessary to use robots to do that. Robot-assisted surgery system can be divided into three kinds which are supervisory controlled system, telesurgical system and shared control system. First, Supervisory controlled system is a system that allows the robots to perform tasks individually which will act according to the computer program where the surgeon's inputs into them earlier. Next, the telesurgical system which is also known as remote surgical requires the direct involvement of surgeons to conduct the robot's arm rather than allowing it to perform surgery procedures by itself. Because the robot is still technically performing the procedures, so it is still considered under the subgroup of robotic surgery. The third system will be shared control system. In this system, it requires the most involvement of surgeons. The surgeon carries out the procedure with the use of a robot that offers steady hand manipulations of the instrument. This enables both entities to jointly perform the tasks. Overall, the main difference between these three systems is the degree of interaction between the surgeons and the robots during the procedures. Although the robot surgeons can perform as a great assistant in surgery rooms, however there is nothing to be 100% safe including these robots. Mechanical devices including robots have the potentials to be malfunction and contravene the concept of minimally invasive surgery, or even worse, causing harm to the patients. Hence, safety of using these equipments has been questioned. Manufacturers have endeavored to reduce the risks of malfunctioning of robots by installing related safety features. Nevertheless, these safety measurements have caused these robots increase in cost, making them unaffordable. The military does not usually use the term robot, but they categorize and name the robots into unmanned aerial vehicles, WAVs, unmanned ground vehicles, UGVs, and autonomous underwater vehicles, OVs, depending on the environment they operated.
Using of these robots in the war field can always being seen by technology advanced countries, especially United States. Instead of sending their armies to combat in the war, they dispatch robots with weapon equipped to the field. Even though they claim that with this it can reduce the sacrificing of their armies but in fact, they are creating a larger offense towards their so-called enemy which may also cause more injuries to the innocents during the war. Yet in this decade, with the rapid increasing in research and development, scientists and researchers have manufactured robots that do not fight but to save the people and also recovering the situation to a safety level. When it comes to space exploration, by automatically we know that robots have been contributing a lot, or accomplishing most of the space exploration tasks. The only planet that human has set foot on, besides Earth is the Moon. However, our tremendous robots have set their feet in planets like Mars, Venus, Jupiter and including few comets and asteroids, 18. Without them, human will not be able to know how the other planets look like and of course, without them human will never know that aliens do not appear in the planets within solar system. We would not conclude that aliens do not appear in our real life because there are no researches stating that robots have been successfully sent out and explored the whole universe and so, we never know what is going on outside our universe. Robots have been used widely in this field because of the not habitable environment for human beings. Eliminate the matter of oxygen, human are not able to cope with the different pressure and gravitational force on the other planets. Therefore costly astronaut suits have been created and in fact they are already being created, and this will never be an intelligence act. There are also risks involved when sending human to the planets and back to the Earth. Several cases happened in the past where explosions of space shuttle caused death to human. The historical moment when Neil Armstrong represented his nation to be the first man to step on the moon. The Apollo program is one of the world's most amazing events in the history that it was the first program that brought human to the moon and back to the land safely. Apollo 1 caused a tragedy that kills all the astronauts who were inside due to a fire during experimental simulation. Thus, several experiments and observations had carried out before they boarded the human and sent them to the moon. In medical field, if the robotic systems and robots have taken over majority of the doctor's job for example, certain surgeries, this may cause certain people may not be able to access the services due to lack of funds. This may also happen in some other fields, this can be described in military field, because robots are more advanced therefore, which country that are rich and own many military robotic system and robots will be the most powerful country. Dr. Kashif Sohail and our team are thankful to you for watching the show. Thank you.